good morning. Hello. Yes, clean it. <laughs> Morning, Jennifer. Lazarus is taking a bath. Clean, clean, clean. He's cleaning that bum leg, which is great. Still, sorry about that. Still moves it. Is using it, trying to get a little more clear so I can see. I use these videos to catch up on angles that I can't see normally. Mm -hmm. I've got somebody over there snacking on the uh, the inside stand. The leg is not any better but I don't think it's any worse. Hi, Sharon. Hey Scott. This is Lazarus. He's doing good. <clears throat> He's gained a couple of grams before I said pounds. He's gained a couple grams. And he's eating better. But yeah, look at that leg. He just doesn't doesn't really use it. But he it's, it's, I don't know, it's a support piece. He uses it kind of like I use my cane. But he doesn't flinch when I touch it, when we move, uh, when he's running around on it. It doesn't bother him. It's just kind of like, eh, I don't care. I'm just going to drag it along. So either way, he's got a hitch in his giddy up, just like me. Already saw Brisby this morning, Lazarus, and I went to the store with Mommy. We had a productive morning. Thank you. Got kisses. We had a productive morning already. We got some food for the outside squirrels. I'm gonna take a nap later and let me paint. Right? And that's our will. I promise. He's listening to the ravens. And those uh, woodpeckers they sound kind of crazy. <clears throat> You're such a handsome man, yes you are. He predominantly sleeps in my shirt most of the time, except of course overnights. He stays in his cage. Pretty close to me still, it comes inside. So he's had a busy morning, he had breakfast, he's eating more, he's weighing more. All around he's doing great. He's still little and it's still the beginning of a very long journey. 
but I am so happy that he has progressed as well as he has. Yeah. I do a little PT on that leg. I massage it and play with his toes and remove it a little bit and He's going diving. There you go. Now he's grunting at me. He wants to go under something. <laughs> Hang on a minute. Yeah, he does look really good. I'm trying to get my shirt. Okay. That's what happens. Trying to jam himself as far in there as he can. Hi, Snuggles. Hi, Snuggles. Oh, yeah. We played a little bit. He's had a very busy morning, a lot of new sights and sounds. We went on a road trip. You see I'm being invaded here? So we went on a road trip. We went to the store to get food. For the another one, squirrels. Sorry, I'm getting bad at this. Holding a camera with one finger and hi, Gail. Lazarus is getting ready to tuck himself in here. But we did a lot of cool stuff this morning. Hi, buddy. We did. Now it's time for tucking in. Yeah, here are the hawks already. Hi, Amanda. That was your weekend. Lazarus is doing some grooming before nap time. And then soon it'll be lunch time. And then we'll be on to second lunch. Actually, 11 Z's will be before lunch time. And then we'll be on to lunch, second lunch. I'm sure there's a few in there that we'll get between then and dinner, so. Oh no. I hope you're feeling better, Amanda. It's the worst time. Summertime is a hard time to get sick or get a cold because it's just hard to get comfortable. But that'll make you feel better, won't it? I yes, I will. Okay, no, no. <laughs> oh, I'm going to let him... Take his little nap, and I'll leave you guys instead of staring at my crotch. Alright, you're a big one. Who's you? Don't mind me, it's okay. Carry on. Ah, the sun was in my eyes. That's Eva. I only realized that because of the ding in her ear. She's got a piece missing out. Skaya is the other young lady who comes in here. And she is much more mature. And I think actually we, we think she's going to have kits in the time now. That either she is just had them or she will. I don't know what their I don't know what their part that part of their lives are like after the females have kits. What their days and their schedules are like. So that's probably the next thing that I'll be interested in learning. It's okay, sweetie, you can go ahead. But she's apparently the younger of the two girls at least that come in here. Since Kind of like in real life uh, with my own kids. I raised two daughters, so I didn't have a lot of input. I 
didn't have a lot of idea of what it was like to raise boys. And so having little male squirrels, like Brisby and now Lazarus, I really don't know if there's a difference between boys and girls, squirrels, other than the obvious plumbing and uh, kitties. But I would imagine that there are some differences that I'll need to be aware of. And since I decided to take Lazarus on, I'm learning a whole lot at warp speed on how to take care of a distressed little one the right way. Brisby and I kind of learned together because the first two or three days we had no resources whatsoever. No internet, no way to get around even to go to a library. The library was a trailer that was fine, but there's no way to get from there to here. There were trees down, obviously, where we got our squirrels from. So the first few days, we were trying to go by common sense and using really our military training of um, the medical training we received in the military, more of stabilizing a person. And we use that for Brisby, make sure that he's warm, make sure that he's got plenty of hydration, and then we'll address his hunger. And it seemed to work. And then by the time he started to gain a little strength, we were back up to full speed with the world and I was able to get all the information and go in the right direction. So, more fortunate this time, I have so much support with Lazarus <coughs> and I've been able to observe so many more things uh, with this whole community of squirrels. Yeah, bunnies. Oh man, we've had bunnies. I can't imagine finding a whole little parcel, parcel of kits. That would be like trying to herd kittens on roller skates. All them baby bunnies. But I, I know Jill was here the other day and she's got what, 12 squirrels under her care in, care in various stages of babiness. Alright, I told y'all I would cut out. Oh, yeah, bottle feeding bunnies is adorable. We were lucky enough to have five, five baby kittens the same time we got Brisby last fall, and they were all needing bottle feeding. Just like this one. We're gonna go find out when his next feeding is. I think it's probably in half an hour or so. So he'll be back up by then. He bounces around quite a bit. So I got a pocket full of squirrel. I'll see you later.